It sounds a bit corny, but I really feel a, an affinity with the ocean. I literally stumbled on uh, a handbook entry in the science handbook with a lovely picture of a wave, an incredible barrel, and it, it was talking about the physics of the oceans, and I, I'd never heard of this field of science before, but I was delighted to, to see something that combined maths and physics with my love for the oceans, and it's a, it's, a, it's a narrow field, there aren't many of us, but it's a really fantastic field to work in. You know, I had a physics teacher who was wonderful, who, who, who really asked that sort of um, Julius Sumner Miller question, why is it so? And I think he was one uh, who, who was tremendously captivating, and he had a bit of an eccentric edge to him, but he was incredibly captivating and, and sparked my interest in science. Things I'm passionate about is science communication, so I might have done something like make documentaries or travel the world looking at parts of the of the oceans or the natural system. Well, actually, I always dreamed of being a marine biologist, but I never did biology. This understanding about what we know and what we don't know. So scientists work at the levels of the uncertainty of any problem. So for, for oceanographers and climate scientists, we don't go and redo John Tyndall's experiments to look at how greenhouse gases uh, trap radiation, trap heat. We know that physics um, really well and we want to look at the uncertainty, the things we still need to find out about if you like. And so one of the problems with probably many fields of science, but certainly climate science at the moment, is that there's a real obsession with this being uncertain, that, that, we're, that we think climate change is a problem, but it, it might not be a problem. And, and it's actually not at all true. At the end of the day, I go into my office and I, and I ask myself, what is the next thing I'd like to understand about the oceans? What bit of the oceans remains a mystery? And what bit is the most important part to resolve? Because, of course, there are many, many questions to resolve. But what you want to do is go to the question that has the most impact on climate or on society and so it's that teasing out of the big picture problems and trying to find a solution.